Hi, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to show you a quick, easy, and accurate way to square the gantry on your Artillery Sidewinder X1 3D printer with this tool that I've designed myself. In a previous video, I went over how to square the gantry with a carpenter's square or machinist square. Now that method works just fine, but it can be a bit fiddly. Plus, if not done correctly, you could introduce some uneven backlash between the two lead screws that drive the gantry itself. This tool eliminates all that and takes the guesswork out of it. I'm going to bring you in closer and show you how to use this. But first, you're going to need to download the STL file from a link that I provided in the video description and print this for yourself. I'll give you a minute to get that done. All right, all done? Great. First, ensure that the synchronizer belt is properly tensioned and that the grub screws on the belt pulley on the printer's right side are tight. Next, if not done already, go ahead and loosen the grub screws on the belt pulley on the printer's left side so that the lead screw can spin freely. This ensures that the left-hand lead screw can rotate freely without affecting the right side. Ensure that you have a few inches of clearance between the build plate and the gantry. Next, install the tool so that these keyways fit firmly in the notches in the gantry and the vertical frame of the printer. You may have to turn the lead screw to get the gantry to line up square so that the tool fits in. It's going to fit very snug. This is by design. Next, go ahead and push down firmly on the top of the tool until the gantry moves down about an inch. The stiffness of the tool combined with the stiffness of the aluminum extrusions will ensure that squareness will be achieved. And by manually moving the gantry down like this, it takes up the backlash and both screws evenly in the same direction. Lastly, with the tool still in place, go ahead and tighten the grub screws on the belt pulley. Snug up each screw a little bit at a time, back and forth until they are both tight. Now you can go ahead and remove the tool and use it to visually verify that the gantry is now square to the frame. Perfect. Now you can go ahead and level the build plate and get to 3D printing. If you found this video after doing something to your printer that requires you to square the gantry, well then you've got yourself into a little bit of a 3D printer tool paradox. You need the tool to fix the printer, but you need the printer to make the tool. Don't worry, all is not lost. Go ahead and refer to the previously mentioned video, link in the video description, and fast forward to 5 minutes and 50 seconds. In there, I show you how to square the gantry with a carpenter square or a machinist square. And then you can go ahead and print this out for yourself and go through the same process if need be, or keep it for future use. And that is all. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.